Badline Client. I've never done a video on Badline Client on my channel, and that's for good reason. When it first came out, it wasn't a really nice looking client. The menus were really kind of ugly to me and not very nice compared to the competition. So I never really touched Badline Client. I know a lot of people said it helps them on low end PCs. I've personally featured it in a couple of top five client videos, and it is pretty good for low end PCs. However, since then, Badline Client has come a very long way. They've completely redesigned their mod menus and just menus in general. It looks a lot cleaner now and they've even bought out a light version which is a stripped down version of the main badline client and it's very good for people with low end pcs so in this video we're going to be checking it out i'm going to be trying it on my low end pc seeing what kind of fps it gives me and what the performance is like and yeah we'll be finding out if it's worth checking out if you're new around here make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new and yeah without further ado for the very first time Let's check out Badline Client. All right, guys. So here we are on Badline Client's website. So to install Badline Client, you just go to their website. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Here are all the downloads. So you see what I mean by they've changed their design. It looks a lot cleaner. Before, the website was a bit of a mess. But it's all laid out really nicely. It's available for both Windows, Mac, and Linux, which is really good to see. And yeah, I'm not on Linux today. I'm on Windows 10. So yeah, it's for Windows 64-bit. So if you've got 32-bit, I think you're kind of out of luck. So yeah, we're going to go with the recommended downloads here and it should just download the setup. All right, so I'm just going to open up the setup here. It's a pretty simple installer. Just press I agree, install. And yeah, there's no pop-up or anything. It just installs as normal. So Badline Client Lite is actually the same version of Badline Client. It's just got some of the main features kind of stripped out. So to install Badline Client Lite, you basically just have to install Badline Client as normal. And then we'll select that as an option when we're into the launcher. All right, so here we are. It's opened up here. So the first thing it asks you to do is log into your Minecraft account. And the first thing it asks you to do is make a Badline client account, which is a little bit annoying. I don't see why you need a Badline client account just to use the client. And the first message you get is Badline client anti-cheat. Do you want to install it? So if you're on a low-end PC and you don't really care about client-side anti-cheat, which a lot of people don't really bother with nowadays, I'm just going to select maybe later. And there we go. So here is the main kind of launcher here. So we've got the news. We've got their socials here. We've got statistics. So we've got back settings, badline anti-cheat. And then we've got a link to their forums up here as well. We've got suggestions. And yeah, these are all basically web links and their store as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and launch badline client. So I'm going to go with the 1.8.9 version, but it spans all the way up to the latest 1.19.2 version, which is the latest at the time of recording. I'm going to select Optifine. And I don't have beta access. I believe you have to pay for it. So yeah, I'm not going to select that. Got my Minecraft account and yeah, just press launch. So yeah, this will install Optifine and do all that good stuff for you. And it comes with a nice little timeline here, which tells you what it's doing. So here we are on Badline Client. So the first thing we get is a little splash screen of all the kind of features and stuff. Oh, it's an advert to upgrade to light, which is what we want actually. So yeah, let's go ahead and press upgrade to light. And here we go. So this is Badline Client Lite. So basically you just have to launch Badline Client as normal, select the Lite version, and this is what you'll be greeted with. So if I wanted to go back to the normal version of Badline Client, I'll just go here, and then I just press switch to BLC. Right, so it's asking me to pick a profile. There isn't actually one, so we'll just go ahead and skip. And here we are, brand new world. And our FPS is just what i was getting about 100 there and now it's like really really choppy and laggy i'm guessing because all the chunks loading in it's taking a bit of toll on our performance but yeah let's mess around with our settings and see what fps we get because right away this is really choppy so if you press right shift here here is the mod menu so there isn't as many mods as the standard badline client comes with i believe the standard badline client has so many more mods than this but yeah this has got all the essentials all the stuff you really need so yeah, let's make the FPS nice and big here so you guys can see what kind of performance I'm getting. So when we press escape here, we have got MC options and Badline Client options, which is just our kind of general settings and stuff here. So if we go into MC options here, as you can see, we're running on Optifine. So these are all just standard Optifine settings here. But yeah, let's go to BLC options and go to better frames and make sure this is enabled. Let's put all of these settings on performance here. So yeah, there's quite a lot of miscellaneous settings here that you can mess around with. I've just gone ahead and applied the better frames. I've, in, I've put all of this on. I've put this on performance here. 
We can also select our GPU fencing threshold as well. I don't know what it does, but it looks quite cool. And yeah, we've also got low graphics mode as well, which we might try. So then we've got like stuff like cosmetics, emotes. So yeah, just kind of general stuff here. This is the mod menu, which you press right shift to get to. It's quite a lot of mods here, actually. So pretty much everything you really need, really. In fact, it's probably more than enough, to be honest with you. So let's just go ahead and turn off ones that we don't need. And by default, we've got 1.7 animations, which is really good to see. And you can also create profiles and manage them here. We've also got Insider, which you need to pay for. So we're not going to cover that. And then also we can go to our MC options here. And yeah, I'm just going to turn off the FPS just so we're using the Badline Client's FPS thing here. So once our world is loaded in a bit more, I've enabled lazy chunk loading. So that should hopefully improve our FPS. But for some reason, it's just it's really choppy. I don't know what's going on. So if we go to MC options here, let's turn down some of our Minecraft settings. Let's be a bit more reasonable here. Put our graphics on fast, turn our smooth light off we've got pretty much all of the settings that i'd normally have on really and yeah this isn't an mc settings video so i'm not going to go into massive details to what i'm doing but yeah so that's just kind of like the normal kind of fps settings i would use on a low-end pc if i want to get some more performance and yeah that combined with the better frames has made things a lot smoother actually we're getting about 250 fps now just over 200 but I'm still getting lag spikes. It's really kind of weird. You might not be able to see it on video, but you can definitely feel it if you're playing. But yeah, so far, so good. I mean, the menus, they're not too like flashy or in your face or anything like that. They're all just kind of everything you need is here. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and mess around on my computer because I have actually just put this drive in Windows. Maybe I need to get some drivers or something and I'll be back once I've sorted that all out. All right, so I've just done some Windows updates and restarted my PC. So yeah, we've installed some graphics drivers and just general stuff to make my PC run a little bit better. I'm sorry I didn't do this before. So it feels pretty much the same. Um, it definitely feels a lot smoother. It's definitely not as choppy as it was. I don't know. I just feel like I get a bit of lag spikes here and there. It's kind of weird. I'm not really too sure what's causing it. If we go into windowed mode here and just try and play like this. I mean, the FPS is still pretty much the same and it still feels a bit choppy, which I don't really know what's causing it there's a cool button here you can press to reload resources which is quite good that might give us some more performance maybe yeah it feels a little bit smoother yeah that's quite a useful button actually i don't think i've ever seen a client with that button before which is quite good to see we've got cosmetics and stuff here we can view our server list as well from the main menu and interestingly they've redesigned the whole minecraft multiplayer server thing which probably isn't too good for fps but there we go emotes and sprays oh this is extra settings so you can add friends on badline client i don't have any friends so i'm not going to be using that and i think you can even change your skin from here as well which is pretty good oh wow that's really cool you can actually change your skin through the client so i'm dream now i wonder if this is client side or if this actually works like in minecraft that's pretty cool if that does work all right so the next section of this video i'm going to be comparing the fps between 1.8.9 optifine and 1.8.9 badline client light so as you can see on screen right here we've got two sequences from the exact same single player worlds using the exact same video settings except one is on badline client light and one is on 1.8.9 optifine now the results are very weird so for some reason in 1.8.9 optifine it feels pretty smooth we're getting you know about 200 to 300 fps maybe about 350 if we look at the sky and at the floor and optifine zoom in whereas on badline client light the fps is similar but it feels so much more choppy and i just keep getting like these little weird lag spikes here and there i'm not really too sure what is causing this normally in videos like this the client is normally better than 1.8.9 optifine but for some reason it's just really weird and you guys can see the results for yourself the two sequences i'll try and line them up as much as possible but yeah, you guys can be the judge for yourself. Right now, it's not looking particularly good for Badline Client Light. This is a very strange outcome. So yeah, that's the little FPS comparison. Now, let's go ahead and try out the latest version on both Badline Client and Optifine and see which one gives us the most FPS. All right, so the next test is 1.19, which is the latest version of Minecraft at the time of recording. So as you can see here, we have got Badline Client and we've got Optifine. I'm just running the same sequence as you can see in the split screen modes here. And uh, it's very, very weird. Badline Client, I always get like a little stutter, a little slowdown. I think at some point I even went down to about 20 FPS, like it just completely dropped. And then it came back up and then it was a bit more stuttery. 
Whereas if we compare that to Optifine, as you can see, it's just smooth all the way around. It's all quite smooth, quite playable. And the FPS comparison is pretty much the same, honestly. I mean, you guys can be the judge of it, but I just don't know what's happening with Badline Client on my computer right now. Lots of people spoke very highly of Badline Client, just not holding up compared to Optifine. I just don't know what's going on. But yeah, that's basically the comparison in 1.19. It's the same as 1.8 really, there's always just a bit of choppiness, a little slowdown, and I don't really know what's causing it. Alright guys, so let's do a bit of troubleshooting here. So the amount of allocated RAM I have on Badline Client is the default, 2GB two or 2048 megabytes. These are basically all my settings here, and it's pretty much all default. And same with Minecraft as well, as you can see here, Optifine 1.19.2. So exactly the same amount of allocated RAM. Yeah, so we're running Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC, which is a de-bloated version of Windows by default. So there's no like bloatware or anything kind of clogging up our system here. We haven't got that many background processes really, all the ones you could expect. We have got some NVIDIA ones here, and that's because I was using a GTX Titan with this exact same drive. As you can see, we've got Windows processes, which we can't really do a lot about. So I have no idea what's causing the slowdowns on Badline Client. I think it's probably a problem on their end. I've updated all my drivers, done all the Windows updates, and I'm still getting this problem. And it's a shame, really, because Badline Client, it was spoken quite highly of to me. And I thought I'd try it out for the first time on this channel. And it's kind of let me down, to be honest, which is pretty sad to see. But anyway, we're going to go on 1.8.9. We'll do like a Minecraft PvP test. And yeah, I've got some more details on Notro Client. So make sure you guys stick around if you want to hear some details about that. Right, so let's go ahead and join Hypixel and do a bit of PvP and see what it's like on Badline Client Light. Hopefully it redeems itself, but we'll see. So right now it's feeling quite smooth actually, so hopefully it keeps this up. Let's put our FPS over there so you guys can see it a bit better. The texture's glitched or something on Badline Client. What? This guy's hitting me with like a piece of paper or something. Okay, we won the duel, but that is so weird. Are the swords like glitched on Badline Client or something? All right, so I'm holding the sword right now going, what? What is that? That is crazy. This client, man, it's just, I just don't understand it. So we kind of like with Badline Client, how you can switch between the light version of Badline Client and you can just go to the normal version of Badline Client just by pressing a button like that. And that's what we're going to do with the next version of Notro Client. So as you know, Technix Client and Notro Client are kind of merging, they're coming together. And how it's going to work is basically you'll download Technix as normal. And then to get to Notro Client, you just press on the arrow just like this and it will switch across to Notro Client. So Notro Client is going to be like the non forge based kind of stripped down version of Technix client. It's going to have redesigned menus, loads of cool mods and features that I haven't seen anywhere else. So I'll be very excited to show off them to you guys. So you can use Technix client if you want to use forge based mods. And if you're on a low end PC or you want a version of Notro client, you just press the arrow and it switches right to it. It's a lot easier for the developer Frosty to keep up with just managing two clients off one launcher. And yeah, it'll be a lot easier for you guys. Right, anyway, so the FPS on Byline Client is not actually too bad now. I've stopped getting kind of lag spikes and stuff. I can actually play quite well. As you can see, we've just been owning people in Hypixel duels here. It just feels so weird. They're just hitting me with a piece of paper or something. Okay, we got a little slow down there just as we were loading in the chunks. In fact, yeah, let's have a look at our settings again. Okay, I think I found the problem. We're on low graphics mode here, which is maybe why the swords were messed up. So we've got FPS boost, world optimization, all of these settings really. We've got this all selected to performance. We've got visuals basically pretty much all hidden. Maybe turn down some of these render distances. Maybe this is what's messing it up. Yep, still very laggy in the lobby. Duels map. Oh, that's made it worse. It might say that we're getting 250 FPS, but it feels like 9. And another thing I want to mention before you guys go right in the comments, I am recording, but I'm not using the computer's resources to record this video. I'm using a capture card and the gameplay is being streamed to my other PC. So yeah, I don't have OBS or any recording software like that open. So that's not affecting the FPS. This is raw performance, which is exactly how I'm experiencing it right now. I might go ahead and revisit about, look at this FPS. What was that? If you guys have got any suggestions on what it could be, definitely let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, that's going to be the video, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Next week, I'm actually going to be upgrading this computer. I know a lot of people have wanted to see me upgrading this computer. So make sure you guys look out for all of that. Thank you guys all for the support as normal. I know it's a very hard time November for YouTubers. 
So yeah, I appreciate all the support that I do get in this month. And yeah, December, Christmas and New Year is going to be very good. I've got a new series I'm going to be starting on this channel very soon. But yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Peace.